discredit little child just gone because of what? Eh? But the boy was a very calm boy. That's this that's, that's, that's a late lie. Yeah. Sir. Hmm. That's how that boy made you fight for the first time in your life. This same school. It's like they don't even know how to discipline. I don't even get it. So the boys have left school. I don't know if they've left, but they're not just they've not just been coming. So if they claim that they, it wasn't a beat, they beat the boy, why are the boys not in school? Why have they disappeared? And even if they, they didn't do it, just that their name is attached to it. So they have to run. Why run if you're not guilty? Maybe it's that we will not relent until justice is served to Sylvester Oramoni's family. Hi, welcome to my channel. If today is your first time of coming by here, hello. And if you're my wonderful returning subscriber, hello, hello. This is me appreciating you for clicking on this video and coming to watch. If you love the voice, you love the content, do not forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell to all, and join the family. Thank you. So, my people, on top of this Sylvester case, we still did. We are not stopping at all until we are sure that this family is at least they have a closure. Now, as of today, there was this breaking news that came out that the Lagos State Government has ordered the indefinite shutdown of Darwin College, Lakey, pending investigation into the delete where they delete the students called Sylvester Oramoni Jr. Although this is a step, but it's not totally a step because the school still released uh, a message out there, you know, telling parents to hold on to their words and that the school right now is not going to be currently open for some time, but they are going to switch their classes to online because they have an upcoming exam that they need to complete. So it means students are going to be writing an exam while somebody's son is cooling off somewhere. It doesn't make sense to me and why some other people who were the, who were part of this whole casala they are nowhere to be found as at today's stories reaching us is that one of the students that who took part in this thing has been flown out of the country presently the boy is busy in one country like that enjoying cool weather eh wear jackets they bounce they go it's not fair it's not fair let's tell the truth anyway as we they go nine pictures of some of the people are claim pictures i'm going to use that claim because there is no hundred percent evidence to back this whole thing up now this is the pictures of the supposed out of five of the students this is just three pictures and just look at their faces these boys are actually big compared to the um to the boy whose story we are talking about these are senior boys and the story has it that the boys are actually in ss2 ss2 i pick a pause on that now stories reaching us is that the parents of these children got the information and they came and put their children out of the school as i now no one can actually tell you their locations or what's up with those children and another thing that is coming in is that one of them has been flown out of this country they carry and go and kill where breeze go they blow and better you know saying our winter now that they step into now so they take the picking command maybe you get blue passport maybe you get another passport now why it was easy for them or you had a current visa now them savvy but the funny thing is that these children are actually from wealthy homes we are talking about wealthy not even rich wealthy homes and it breaks my mind it breaks my heart how parents you know could you could receive such news and you forget that the person we are talking about is also a child of a parent or parent and when you look at the father you look at the mother of the the sylvester or Romy we are or, um, or money we are talking about these people have passed the mother in particular have passed menopause this child was her only son how will this woman survive this as of today, the husband had an interview and he was saying that the wife could not sleep, that they had to give her a sleeping pill for her to sleep. Let me hold on on that. One of the boys who was also a culprit of this happened to be a son of a very popular man by name, Ruji Kashamus. So the story um, has it that this um, Kashamu was extradited from UK prison to the US because of some drug thing. And also, he was the former senator of Nigeria. And um, right now, the man is lead. He's no longer alive. He's lead. And someone went forward to explain this whole thing. And she said that 
this case at the moment and one of the boys father is buruju kashamu this man he was he was a <laughs> unasabi waiting the right for there and a politician in the late 90s and he later died in custody so like uh, like father like Pekin, god go help us that's so they take the car more and it's actually a pity because this video of the guy's parents breaks my heart back yeah i have asked him the mother to bring one of his pictures but when he was in primary school he always thought of i want to be pilot so when the school was doing some activities, they would ask them to wear, if you want to be doctor, you wear doctor uniform. Career day. Career day, career day. So they, they wear pilot uniform. So I've asked them to bring. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Mm? okay. Sorry, my brother. I've asked my wife to bring that picture. I think that's the last bit. I will do a cake. I put the picture, and I will do his birthday. Take her time. Okay. What? No, don't cry. It's okay. Everything is fine. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Both of you should not cry. The mom, the mom could not sleep, so they gave her drugs. So she's sleeping now. That's that's why she's not here with us. She's in the room. She's sleeping. The B, both of us BPs were very high, so we are on drugs. Mm. That's okay.